Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some electrifying news from Volkswagen. Just last week, the spotlight was on the ID7 Tour, but now the spotlight shifts to its performance-focused sibling, the ID7 GTX Tour. This electric wagon is not just a powerhouse, but also a game-changer in VW's electric lineup. Let's explore why this car is generating such a buzz. The iV7 GTX Tourer is VDLU's most powerful electric wagon yet, and it's designed to offer both performance and practicality. This car is a leap forward in Volkswagen's EV strategy, featuring a robust dual-motor setup that delivers a thrilling 335 horsepower. Under the hood, you'll find two electric motors working in harmony. The rear motor is the primary source of power, cranking out an impressive 282 horsepower. The front motor, while slightly less powerful at 107 horsepower, kicks in when needed to provide that extra boost. This dual motor configuration enables the ID7 GTX Tour to offer all-wheel drive capabilities, making it a versatile performer in various driving conditions. One of the stand-up features of the ID7 GTX Tour is its towing capacity. With this dual motor setup, it can tow up to 3,086 pounds, a significant increase from the 2,204 pounds that its single motor rear wheel drive counterpart can handle. This makes the GTX Tour a fantastic option for those who need a bit more utility from their electric vehicle. In terms of battery life, the GTX Tour comes standard with an 86 kilowatt hours battery, which is larger than the 77 kilowatt hours battery found in the basic ID7 Tour. This battery supports rapid charging at up to 200 kilowatts, allowing the car to charge from 10% to 80% in under 30 minutes. Although VVLU hasn't released exact range figures for the GTX model, it's expected that the enhanced performance might slightly impact its range compared to the rear-wheel drive model, which boasts a DLTP range of 426 miles. Performance-wise, the GTX Tour is expected to deliver impressive acceleration. While VVLU hasn't disclosed exact numbers, it's anticipated that the car will sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in the high 5-second to low 6-second range. For context, the standard ID7 hatchback with rear-wheel drive and 282 horsepower achieves the same sprint in 6.5 seconds. Moving to aesthetics, the ID7 GTX Tour carries over the sportier design elements seen in the ID3 GTX. It features redesigned bumpers, glossy black accents, and unique wheels. Standard equipment includes 20-inch alloy wheels with an optional upgrade to 21-inch alloys for those who want an even bolder look. The interior is equally impressive, with red accents and GTX branding on the seats and steering wheel, adding a touch of sportness to the cabin. Despite its sporty nature, the GTX Tour doesn't compromise on space. It offers the same 21.3 cubic feet of cargo space as the regular ID7 Tour, which expands to 60.5 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down. Additionally, it can be equipped with an optional panoramic sunroof that switches from opaque to transparent, enhancing both functionality and style. However, as a catch for those of the US market, the standard ID7 Tour won't be available in the United States, and it's unlikely that the GTX version will make its way there either. But for European buyers, this electric sports wagon is set to hit the market this spring. In summary, the VDLU IE7 GTX Tour is an exciting addition to the electric vehicle market, combining powerful performance with practicality and style. It's a vehicle that promises to deliver an exceptional driving experience while offering the benefits of electric mobility. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the latest and greatest in automotive technology. See you in the next video. Call me a